hey besties welcome back to my channel my name is amidala so in today's video i want to show you guys how i achieved this coily beautiful frontal wig with extension braiding hair so if it's something that you have interest in so stay tuned guys and don't skip this video make sure you watch this video to the end and if you have something that you're gaining it make sure you subscribe to my channel like and comment and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that anytime i upload the new content to be notified so without wasting our time let's jump right into the video <music> So I ventilate most of this uh, frontal video off camera so I will explain a little bit and if you want a full explanation on this video you can check my channel on this video. I have a full tutorial on how I ventilate this frontal. So I ventilate diagonally on this uh, frontal and I ventilate a line leaving a line so in between my ventilation i'm leaving a hole as you can see very well i'm leaving a hole in between my ventilation i'm leaving a light diagonally and on the line that i'm ventilating i'll make sure i ventilate a hole leave a hole then i'll move to the other hole and ventilate on it so if you are a fast learner you can watch this video and you can still grab on how i ventilate on this this front and it won't and if you want full explanation on it you can check this video top right corner over here and watch the full tutorial on how i ventilate on it So I pick three strands of air when I'm ventilating on this frontal and at the front of the air I just pick a strand of air. Sometimes I pick two but I'll guarantee you to use just a single strand if you want a very natural looking like mine. And for the spacing of the front also I don't ventilate like I'm ventilating the back, I'm ventilating vice versa at the front of the air maybe when i ventilate on the first hole like this my ventilating starts at this point i'll make sure that when i want to ventilate on the second hole my ventilate my ventilating will also start from where i don't ventilate on the other hole so that is what i mean by ventilating vice versa So this is how it looks after I'm done ventilating it. This is how it turned out. You can see that natural looking at the front. So after I'm done with it, I pack it up like this. So I'm crocheting the black cap. So this is how I am crocheting it. So I use a tiny crochet hook for the black cap and as you can see the attachment is cut for and I don't stretch it at all. I'm just using it directly. I pick a little strand of air like this and I give it a long end and a short end. I make one side longer than the other. Mm -hmm. 
just past the crochet hook through the hole of the net then i will hook the air on my hand then i will close back the crochet hook and pull it through the net then i'm giving it a double knot method so that is how i crochet every ear on the black cap So I also joined the black cap with frontal net using extension breathing air and uh, my tiny crochet hook. Now I'm also picking the same amount of air that I'm picking at the back.
so after i finish crocheting like this i still have some attachments with me so i still refill it so that it will be very very close to each other so that it will not scan till like that so i make sure i feel everything till everything is well closed no more net showing so if you still have some left uh, attachments with you guys you can still feel everything so that everything will look full and beautiful So here is how it looks after I finish filling it. I hope you can see that it's looking very full. So that is how it looks after I finish filling it. And the next thing now is to roll the hair with straw. So I've rolled some of camera and here is the illustrate on how I roll the hair. I comb the air trolley with comb so after that i'll just bring out the straw and i'll keep rolling it so when i'm rolling the air on the straw i'm not twisting too much like that i just twist to put the air to the straw so after that i'll just twist a little and i will be rolling it directly to the straw i don't want a strong twist so that is why i did it like that So for the front of the air, I stretch it a little bit because I want something that will look silky a little bit. So I use my straightener to straighten it a little bit. So be careful guys when you are using your straightener on it. Make sure you put it on the low heat so that you won't melt away your air. So this is how it looks after I'm done stretching it and the next thing now is to also roll it down with the straw like I rolled the back of the air.
so i'm done rolling everything now the next thing now is to push the air to the hot water so here is the conditioner inside the bowl and i pour hot water on it then the next thing is to dip the air into the hot water and here is the air outside i put it outside for it because of the water i don't want it to spoil the rug so after it dry a little bit there is still some water on it but it can spoil my rug so i take it back inside and i keep unravel it a little by little and the coil came out so well the coil came out so beautiful so watch out and see it So the coil came out so beautiful and where you can see that the nets are showing i still roll some air in the hot water and i crochet everything to the back of the net to make it puff a little bit so this is the air after it's dry the air is giving scalp and it's very full and beautiful and the wig is also giving a glueless vibe so i love the outcome of this air i love love the outcome of it it's very full check the back of it it's very very beautiful and i can style this air as i want it so it's giving scalp as you can see it and i love how it's turned out so guys if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and comment and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that anytime i upload the new content you'll be notified and see you all in my next video bye